One of my favorite quotes is, be the change in the world that you want to see. And I strive to do that every day. People at the end of the day are amazing. And we need to love one another rather than break each other down. My name is Holly Jackson, and I am the creator and the founder of Walls of Love. We could do like another row so it's filled in, like going down, going down, going Walls down. Walls of Love are an amazing expression of genuine love that we put out into the community. We assist those who are homeless or are unable to maybe get some of the daily things that they need. Grab me one of the bags that has some more of the hygiene in it. They are year round. They're stocked seasonally, so in the summertime, you're gonna have sunscreen, chapstick, school supplies. Separate this stuff for me too, okay? And put it in piles as to what it is. Hats, gloves, scarves in the winter, earmuffs, hand warmers, toe warmers, tarps for people who are in tent cities or under bridges. The items are in Ziploc bags to protect them from the elements, and they are zip tied to the walls to keep them safe so people are able to come get them off the wall. They don't have to ask for them. They can just go take them and get what they need without any stigmas or judgments. In building a wall, we have to do some type of fundraising and 100% of every bit of money that we get, we put back into the walls, into the community. Once we get the items for the walls, we ask for volunteers, for people who would donate their time to come out and put up the walls. High five, good job. We bag the items and tag them so people know what they are. I want people to be able to use them, but it needs to be aesthetically pleasing for wherever it is. We don't want it to interrupt the neighborhood and we want people to understand what it's there for, but we want it to look nice. Approximately 28 years ago, I was homeless myself. I was in a domestic violence situation at that time and I was pregnant and I had a job. When I left the situation and went to the homeless shelter, it was very nerve wracking. I left everything that I owned at that point in time and just got out. To have to humble yourself and ask people for help and then not get it, it makes you feel really bad. And I never want anyone to feel like that again if I can help it. There's a lot of stigmas that go along with people who are homeless. Everyone's an addict, or everyone's just getting out of jail, or they're uneducated. Those are all wrong. There are people who work hard every day, and they are just one missed day of work and not getting paid away from being homeless. One of the biggest roadblocks of getting your life together when you're homeless is not being able to get items that are just normal everyday things, especially if you're a female, hygiene products. Those are things that we have to have. Well, if you don't have money, how do you get those things? All of these can go on the table. The children who were a part of this project today, they actually saw something that I did on Facebook, Another Wall, and it was one of the students who actually wanted to do this. And they let their teacher know, and they reached out to me. I feel like everybody goes through something, so to be able to help somebody else go through the same thing you went through is very helpful, because a lot of people don't have a lot of people to look up to. So when you do stuff like that, it gives people something to help for. You could see how much fun they were having knowing that they have a friend or a neighbor who needs these items. All right. Often we think of walls as a way to keep people out of places. My walls, I want people to understand that it is kind of like building a bridge or giving you a hand up. 
And the love is on the wall in the items that we have there for people to be able to use and pick up whenever they need. I want people to be inspired. I want people to want to do this in their city. One person at a time, that's all that it takes. Let's do it. <laughs>